Lisa Kanan with Stitch and Tree Quilts. Welcome to our From Marty and Me Club. This week we'll be working on Marty's quilt, Cross Canoes. You can see our sample quilt here. We made our sample using fabric from Color Me Happy by Vanessa Christensen from V & Company from Moda. Marty's pattern, Cross Canoes and Diamonds 2, uses the Kaleido ruler. We'll talk more about the ruler in the video. Please take note that on our website we have a download link for a series of notes that we took during our demonstration in our shop. It's helpful to print out those notes if you're exploring this pattern on your own at home. This is the block that is the crossed canoes. It uses two light background units and two dark background units. In Marty's pattern she also shows a cousin to the block which is the kaleidoscope block. Let's get started. The cross canoes pattern can use either the large kaleidoscope or the small kaleidoscope ruler. The small ruler will make blocks that are 2 inches to 8 inches and the large kaleidoscope ruler will make blocks that are 6 inches to 16 inches. Since we're working with an 8 inch block, either ruler will work. I use the large kaleido ruler, it seemed a little easier to me and also I like to make larger blocks. Let's take a look at Marty's pattern. Once again, Marty's pattern is chocked full of information. On the front cover is a picture of the quilt that we make in our demonstration, the Cross Canoes and Diamonds 2. On the inside cover are two additional variations of the patterns. You'll find these patterns further on in the pattern book itself. On page 3, Marty talks about the Cross Canoes block which is right here, that's the block we'll be making, and the kaleidoscope block, which is the cousin to it. You'll see that it's essentially the same block, it's just a matter of placement. On page four, Marty asks the question whether or not Cross Canoes has more cousins, and indeed it does. We have a book on kaleidoscope that's by Marty, and if you would like to have a copy of that book, just give us a call. The quilt that we made Cross Canoes and Diamonds 2 is also known as Sailor's Delight. So go ahead and underline the name on page 5 of your pattern book. That will help you to recall that as you go through the pattern. Here's a few of the changes that we made to Marty's fabric requirements. Under the first requirement for 5H yard of white fabric for the background, we said that you probably need 3 quarters of a yard. 5 eighths of a yard doesn't give you much room for straightening out your fabric and taking care of it that way. The next item, the one 8 inch square of white with black print for contrasting corner triangles, that's for these triangles right here. There's just 8 half squares, so you can get by with a scrap or a fat 16th. You do not need an 8 inch piece. The next item talks about 9 pieces that are 10 inches by 14 inches of black prints for all of these cross canoe blocks. They're the exact same as the white background piece, so a three quarters of a yard total will take care of you there. The next item, three eighths of a yard of the contrasting red fabric, is for this circle that goes around that in that center piece. And a half a yard is more appropriate. You will not have much left by the time you make those cuts, so again if you need to straighten your fabric you might be a little bit short. The half yard for the kaleidoscope in the center, the kaleidoscope star, is appropriate. And the one and three eighths yard for the border is appropriate if you are going to be cutting your border from length of fabric, which of course Marty recommends. If you're just going to be cutting strips, you can get by with four four inch strips, so a half of yard will be enough. And then the last one I'm going to make a change to is when it calls for 5 eighths of a yard for contrasting French fold binding. To make just regular binding using 2 and a half inch strips, you'll only need 3 eighths of a yard. Inside on page 6, Marty talks about fabric selection and the two rulers that I already showed to you. On page 7, she begins by having us cut the pieces. Take a pencil and underline in the first paragraph that you'll be looking at pages 27 and 28 when you're cutting your, with your kaleidoscope ruler. And then also in the second paragraph, 
Underline that you're recutting for Sailor's Delight. It is a little confusing because the front pattern calls it Cross Canoes and inside the pattern we're calling it Sailor's Delight. It's time to start cutting. You'll turn to pages 29 through 31 for details on how to use the Kaleido ruler. And go ahead and highlight that you're going to be making 8 inch blocks. You'll notice that the instructions on page 29 and 31 are for 12 inch blocks. So you'll be using the 8 inch mark on the ruler as I demonstrated on the video. You can get 16 of this first unit from a strip, so you'll need to cut two strips. And then for the left and right half kaleido angles, you're also going to need two strips. So you can start out by just making four strips of that black background fabric. For the little corner triangles for the 8 inch blocks, you'll use the cutting instructions on page 31 and you'll need one strip. When it's time to cut for the 5 eighths of a yard uh, for the white fabric, it's the same as cutting for the black fabric. You're cutting the exact same units so I really recommend just layering those two fabrics on top of each other and making those cuts at one time. For the rest of the units, you'll be cutting one strip each. At the bottom of the page, please take note of the image here that shows you how to cut the template when you're doing your half squares. You will not be cutting both sides of the engineered corner. Pages 8 and 9 show us how to construct the, the blocks and how to sew the pieces together. Take special note of the pressing instructions. It's very important to press the direction that Marty shows you where you have all the seams pressing in one direction. That way when you're putting the blocks together you have the seams going in one direction on the dark blocks and the opposite direction on the light blocks, allowing them to nest. That's particularly helpful when you have eight points coming into one center location. On pages 10 and 11, she continues with making the blocks and the center unit. And on page 12, we're constructing the quilt. Page 13 includes the border instructions. It's always important to measure your quilt top before cutting your border pieces. On the bottom of page 13, Marty gives you notes for piecing a back. The finished quilt is 43 and a half inches, so chances are you won't have to piece a back. Beginning on page 14, Marty has variations to her cross canoes pattern. This quilt here is really a cute one with the different design that's made from the cross canoes. Page 19, she has a diamond canoes table runner. On page 23, she shows you a no binding method for that table runner. On page 25, she has the diamond canoes wall hanging. And on page 29, she begins the instructions on how to cut the kaleido angles. This will be very important as you complete your quilt. On page 33, Marty includes a free motion quilting design and the back page shows one of the color pictures of the variation quilts. Once again, Marty's pattern is full of lots of alternative projects for you to use with the Kaleido ruler. Let's take a look at our tools for cross canoes. This month we'll be using a, reg a regular square tool, it needs to be at least an 8 inch square, a regular rotary ruler, and to construct this quilt we'll be using Marty's Kaleido ruler. You can use a large Kaleido ruler or a small Kaleido ruler, either one will work because we're working with an 8 inch square. For the fabric for our source sample, we chose the line Color Me Happy by V & Company. V & Company is Vanessa Christensen and she's an Iowa designer. Going from the top of the fabric requirements page on page 5, I'll go through the fabric that we're including. For our white background, we've chosen this white with the blue and the green and the turquoise bird tracks. 
For the 8 inch square, white with black print, for our contrast we have a solid green that will match the border. It calls for 9 pieces, 10 inches by 14 inch of black prints. We've chosen the blue with the green, white, and turquoise dots. You need 7 eighths of a yard. For the 3 eighths yard of contrasting red fabric, we've chosen the turquoise with blue and green and white dots. For the kaleidoscope star, we've chosen the gray with the turquoise tulips and green leaves. For the border, we've chosen the green floral from Vanessa's line. And for the binding, we've chosen the light turquoise with blue, green, and turquoise beads. Let's get started. We'll begin cutting the pieces on page 7 of Marty's pattern. You'll note that she's telling us that our design is for an 8 inch block and it's called the Sailor's Delight. Sailor's Delight is also the picture on the front of the page. We're cutting for an 8 inch block and in Marty's instructions she tells us to go to page 29 for 31 for details on how to cut using the Kaleido ruler. I've also linked Marty's videos on our website regarding the Kaleido ruler. 